Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Well, last video, which was super important, something most people won't watch. I doubt we're going to get up to a thousand views of that video, which is, you know, mind blowing, but it's not a coin you can buy. So therefore, it's not a big deal to most people. Well, this is going to be another one of those videos that there's going to be some of you that watch this video and you're going to learn something that is going to become very important later, but most people won't. So congratulations. If you are new here, of course, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Also in the description, there is our Discord, new Discord, uh, growing very quickly and uh, lots of, you know, real talk, <laughs> real crypto research going on here. And uh, I just posted something that we're going to talk about today. Many times on this channel, I have recommended that you go to the Global Blockchain Business Council and sign up for their newsletter because this is basically the blockchain section for the World Economic Forum. And like it or not, these people are shaping policy. Now, did actually they work through the banks to develop uh, blockchain in the first place? I kind of believe so. Uh, there is some evidence of that. I think that a lot of crypto could just be a big bait and switch, where this is how they get the adoption going. And then, of course, the banks who created it in the first place come in, take over everything, large corporations, etc. But anyways, this video is about a merger that just happened. Major merger creates world's largest members association for blockchain technology and digital asset sector. The Global Blockchain Business Council and the Global Digital Finance. So what is that? What is the GDF? We're about to talk about that. Uh, I just wanted to go over this as their press release. Sandra Rowe, CEO of the GBBC, happens to also be on the the GDF. So let's talk about the GDF real quick. Uh, GDF is basically a lobbying group and it's a huge lobbying group with people from all over the world when it comes to uh, lobbying for governments. And there you see Sandra Rowe here, but I wanted to point out a couple of people. Jeff Bandman, who is a co-founder right? And if we looked, look at him, we see formerly a senior official at the U.S. Commodities Futures Trading Commission as fintech advisor to Chairman Giancarlo. Well, we know Chris Giancarlo is the Digital Dollar Project, which is all about CBDCs. So we have lobbying, we have former CFTC members running through so much of this space. And then we can just go through, I mean, we pick somebody like Dina Ellis, right? We look here, she has over 20 years experience on Capitol Hill, lobbying and working for the executive branch. Worked for uh, Senator Pat Toomey, the George W. Bush administration is Deputy Assistant Secretary at the Treasury Department. So it's just a big lobbying firm. And now they're merged with the GBBC, which is the World Economic Forum, so we have a lobbying arm. Um, they're already very important when it comes to governments. We know these, you know, when I say this is all one thing, we're getting to see what that means. Interwork Alliance, we know the GBBC brought them in, which is a key rallying point for organizations to collaborate on market-driven interwork standards. This is a standards group. So they're creating the standards. They're lobbying the governments. It's a very, very important thing to keep your eye on. I have made and pointed out so many things about uh, the GBBC in the past. I can't go over all of it here. But we know David Treat, who is connected to everything, including the Digital Dollar Project, which we just mentioned. That's, that's kind of funny, isn't it? And the blockchain lead at Accenture. Now, Accenture is a huge part of this. Their CEO is called the CEO Whisperer. Well... Accenture has its hands in everything. But I noticed this. David Treat, a senior marketing director and global metaverse continuing business group. Well, I had never heard of that. And I've been following David Treat for a while. So this must be new. So I wanted to check that out. 
Now, I just wanted to point this out really quick. The announcement is being made at the GBBC's Blockchain Central at Davos. Now, we knew that they were one and the same, but five years following the formation of the GBBC at Davos in 2017. So if you have any question that they're one in the same, there you go. Now, Accenture introduced Metaverse Continuum Group, XR Today. So this is somewhat new. Accenture has reportedly, which they have, developed a Metaverse Continuum hosting numerous virtual words and experience to reshape how people work and interact, the company announced this week. You can look up Accenture if you want. These, this is an absolutely enormous company that has so much responsibility for what companies do around the world. So uh, I think this is very important. The company's pivot to the metaverse led to the joining of the Washington-based XR Association in February, which includes some of the world's top tech firms such as Google, Microsoft, Call. Okay, so let's look at the XR Association. Basically, standards in virtual reality, extended reality. They may say it in some other words to promote responsible development and thoughtful advancement of the XR that fosters positive Societal outcomes. Yeah, basically say, we're going to make the standards and you got to do what we say. And no surprise that the CEOs brings two decades experience in the world's government policy and technology. She began her career, U.S. Department of Justice, Executive Office of the President, Office of the U.S. Trade Representative. So not a huge surprise there. And the board members here, Accenture, Google, Meta, Microsoft, Qualcomm, you know, the Linux Foundation, we've talked about this many times, so we can go right back to the Interwork Alliance. So again, not the sexiest thing to talk about, but it's something you put in the back of your head and you realize that when you hear about one, you're hearing about the other. This is all one thing. This is the World Economic Forum basically steering the way that blockchain works. And if we go back to the GDF, well, who's on their advisory council and patron board? Well, of course, we see Coinbase, DLA Piper. Remember, this is from HBAR, EY, which is Consensus Ethereum. We see R3, which is the banks, SDX, which is also built on R3, so the banks, London Stock Exchange Group. And this bears out when you look at the advisory council, right? You see the same names, but then you see consensus. Well, sorry. Filecoin Foundation. So, again, it's all one thing here. And uh, I'm just pointing that out to you so that you realize this when you're delving further into crypto space. This is going to come up over and over and over. So I, I hope you learned something. I appreciate you. Love y'all. See you in the next one.